But it's, it's, to be, it's to be good. It's from Ahi Geek here in the Lakeside area. Okay, I want to talk about a code to back. I've uploaded many, many videos, many, uh, from the town of a code to back down. Um, I do remember um, um, seeing a YouTube video uh, from a code to back, uh, a local one, about a year ago. And, uh, and uh, I haven't noticed or I'm not aware of videos being uploaded there from there but uh, I happen to uh, love the town so I keep going back and uh, I made uploaded many many videos of uh, Kotebeck now I'll tell you uh, if you're a tourist if you're a resident if you're coming down here to visit family members or friends uh, or if you're a resident here and you haven't been to a Kotebeck please uh, Visit Hakotepec, and I'll tell you different ways you can get there, but I want to talk really about it being cultural, educational, and agricultural. Uh, some or many don't know, are not aware of what's going on in Hakotepec. Expats live there as well. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Um, people I know who live there, another couple I met, a um, long time ago lived there uh, and they love it and they enjoy it but uh, first I want to tell you about my experience uh, doing walk videos I love doing walk videos all over the lakeside area I like to catch sunsets I like to catch the sunrise uh, I like to catch the mountains uh, I love the Malacans let me start with the Malacans the Malacan in Hakotepec is long a little bit and it's it's beautiful now you can get get on boats there i did a video about pontoon boats uh, how one can get pont, a pontoon boat there's other boats you can get there as you could in ahihi in the town of japan but i put a video up about uh, with a pontoon boat owner and some mexican residents uh, on the malacan uh, uh, right there how you can rent it and the cost for doing so very inexpensive. Uh, after I put up the video, I talked with Dan and Sylvia, some friends of mine, and they said, we've already been on a boat there. I said, wow, cool. And uh, maybe we'll all go out and get together and go on a boat ride. But uh, there's also beautiful art and sculptures all over the Malacan. There's benches you can sit down and rest. I, I, I walked the Malacan quite a bit over there. And I've done it just more than one day. I go back there frequently. I visit it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. The mountains, you catch Lake Chapala there, everything. Now, um, also, yeah, I did a video with uh, a family, okay? And they are vendors there, and uh, they're wonderful people. I uploaded that. I took a picture, snapshot of the whole family together. They want us to come. They want to share. Um, they want us to experience the culture in whatever else is going on there. It's wonderful. The restaurants. I've been to the Roma Cafe. It's right down the street from the cultural center. If you like a good coffee shop, you want to get lunch, breakfast or lunch, I suggest going there. It's a wonderful place. I met nice people there. Um, in addition to... Um, Going uh, to eat in Hakotepec, my experience is also with shopping in Hakotepec. Fruit, vegetables, uh, I did a lot of walk videos through the plaza, central there, and also just around the plaza, different neighborhoods, really peaceful, friendly, nice people. You're going to see a lot of people more on scooters and four-wheelers over there. You really will. Uh, there's a lot of people. The roads are really nice in the areas that I've been to. Um, you're going to find uh, it's an agricultural place as well as cultural and educational. You can buy wine right there from at the cultural center. Wine that is made in Hakotepec. And we covered that in a video about a month ago. Uh, I was fortunate to get uh, to able to talk with the director of the uh, cultural center 
and he allowed and he agreed he thought it was a great idea for myself and ricardo to do this do a video there and uh, that was a 23 minute video and uh, i didn't actually do the video ricardo did it i just held the camera and he gave a walkthrough through the entire cultural center now also um it's quite educational cultural you can get take classes here piano classes you can take uh yoga classes you can, over there you can also take uh guitar lessons piano lessons uh dance lessons and there's english for local residents they have a program also to train local kids in even going to el chante mariachi traditional they're raising them up in mariachi do you have english classes for mexican residents but if you want to take some of those classes dance classes uh, uh music lessons they're available to expats everyone uh did a video on that uh, uh did a video just the other day uh at the library with one of the library directors and took a walk through, through there um, it's really nice down there. Uh, you're going to find small mom and pop stores. I did a video. I actually shop and I do go back there. You get American products over there. Some stuff you'll get in the U S I did a video about that. Um, you can find a lot of things in a cold spec. Now we'll talk about, I've already mentioned that cold spec does make wine and it is available there. One of the places you can get that wine is the Cultural Center, as Ricardo showed us in a video about a month ago. Now, Driscoll Berries. We talked about agriculture. I'll just talk one part, about, a little bit about agriculture. Um, now, I've read a lot of stuff on Wikipedia about all the towns at Lakeside, but I already knew that uh, they had agriculture there, uh, and they had like berries, a lot of berries, Driscoll Berries. Uh, for instance, when I'm up, when I go back up in the U.S., um, I'll go to, say, Costco's, I'll go to Kroger's, and I'll look at the packages, and I noticed that a while back ago that it said Driscoll Berries, and wow, made in, or not made in, but from Hakotepec, and uh, I share it. I'm with shopping with someone says, you see these? They're from the lakeside area. They're from Hakotebec. Those are the ones I buy. And uh, I buy Hakotebec, the Driscoll Berries. But you're going to find there's machinery there, agricultural machinery. I covered that in a video. Um, there was a, a gentleman replied, replied in the comments that he didn't know that you could purchase hardware, uh, and agricultural equipment that is i think it's made the u.s or europe or somewhere but you know it's 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 really identifiable the name is s-t-i-h-l i don't know how to pronounce it i've seen it up in the states in different stores um the roma cafe um i went there i go there on occasion and uh, whenever i'm there i like to go there uh, and I go to Hakotebec frequently. I meet people there. I meet friends there. Ricardo, of course, uh, and other people. I'll tell you a little bit about experience uh, I have with meeting uh, people up there. And here was, I'm just going to give you one example. I was in Roma Cafe, and I was having a cup of coffee. And while I was taking a break from shooting videos, I needed to charge my phone, plug my phone in, had a cup of coffee. And there was a couple that walked in, and they were about my age or close to my age. And I thought it was a man and wife and when they invited me. Uh, they saw me fiddling with my phone and playing with it and charging it. They saw me get coffee. They said, why don't you come over here and sit with us? I said, thanks. I appreciate it. They invited me for coffee. And uh, I found out they weren't uh, married. Um, they were brother and sister. Uh, the brother... Um, He's about my age, or a little bit younger than me, but he's getting ready to retire. He's a social service director somewhere in Guadalajara. He was down there, and the woman he was with is his sister. 
you know, she works somewhere there. I don't know what she does. Uh, we had a long conversation. We probably talked for an hour. And I got a chance to communicate, practice my communication in Spanish. And uh, because the brother spoke some English, but the woman, his sister, didn't speak any English, very little. And I probably spoke, uh, spoke more Spanish, of course, than she was speaking English. We all communicated. We had a great time. Talked about my travels in Mexico. Talked about a lot of different things. And uh, she told me there's music there, uh, too. Um, and she gave me her phone number. She was very friendly. And I just take it that she was a friend that, or wants to become a friend or get to know me. And she's a nice lady. Uh, I haven't called her back yet, but she's very interesting. I have her number on this phone. Um, she's a really amazing woman. Uh, and we had a nice hour there having coffee. The kid that works in one of the... Well, he is a kid. He's a young man, actually. Um, he works at the Roma Cafe. He's a guitar player. So if you go down there, he's the one with has the real bushy hair. Ask him about music. Uh, look for the kid or the guy, young man. He's a guitar player. You know, they play rock. But I heard that you can find different types of music somewhere in um, Hakotepec. Now, Tim, he's a drummer from California, and he told me that there is music going on in Hakotepec, too, so that's something I want to check out. Now, uh, boating. Uh, you can go on the Malacan kitchen, and I think I may have mentioned it. I don't have an outline here. The Sylvia took a boat down there. Uh, they went on a boat. I did do a video about pontoons. How to get pontoons, prices, once again, the vendors over there. I did videos of the churches along next to the cultural center, a church there. And there's long wall murals alongside the cultural center. The, the painter Miguel, um, he gives you a history. Uh, he can give you a history, take you through and show you his beautiful art. And it's a history of the town of Acotabek. Uh, you're going to find a lot of good deals in shopping, too. I think I mentioned that. Um, also, the big parochia. I, I, when I go in these churches and parochias, I covered that one. That is very, it's a beautiful church. Um, I don't go in there when people are worshiping. I, if it's empty, completely empty, and doors are open, I go in there. to walk tours of the, the, the towns. Uh, um, you read, watch these previous videos. Uh, I uploaded a lot of videos, walked her through the towns, uh, on the outside, in the plaza, outside the plaza. Uh, I even did, I didn't take videos of signs for rent. Um, that was, I was going to do that, show you guys there are rentals there, but uh, I'm not into rental business or anything. Uh, but there are places, and they were renovating some rentals there. Now, once again, I don't know if I mentioned, there's a gentleman who goes to the IE Plaza. Um, he's from the same town uh, that I bought a home outside of Detroit this suburb about 10 years ago. He grew up in the same suburb as me in that town, in that community. Uh, but he's in Mexico here. He's buying a condo. Um, in Hakotepec. He went back up to Michigan. He goes to the IHE Plaza. If you haven't met him, you probably will. Um, he's a comedian. I did meet a Canadian couple the first time I ever went to the Roma Cafe. And that was more than 10 months ago uh, when I discovered the Roma Cafe. Uh, there was a Canadian couple. They came down um, and they didn't have a big retirement income or social security wasn't big. They're from Canada. They bought a condo up in the hills of Hakotepec. Uh, I know a lady who owns a business from uh, Rivera, Del Pilar. Uh, she, we have mutual friends here in Ahi. She owns a home in Hakotepec. And uh, people, uh, just people live there. Uh, there are some expats living there. Nowhere near as many as you're going to find in some of these other lakeside towns. But I'm going to think, and I'm not speculating, but uh, the way I'm looking at Ahi over the last three and a half years since I've been coming here, now I live here, 
uh, full time. Um, there, um, it seems like uh, people aren't just branching out. Yeah, they're, I think the waves, and, and, and I'm not a real estate predictor. I don't work, I'm not trying to influence anybody to buy real estate or rentals, but I'm gonna let you know they are um, expanding. And uh, I think that uh, those are the waves. I think, I'm, and I'm just guessing from what I see and what I've been seeing in the last three years, and I think it's been going on longer than that. Uh, people are getting out to these other towns. Uh, they are, I think, more Chapala. But I think in a while, people are going to discover a coach effect uh, even more and more and more. But it's a beautiful town. Um, you know, you, you'll love it. You can get there by taxis. I take it e bikes, I've taken taxis, I've taken buses. Um, one other thing I also discovered was I knew about there was another route coming from Guadalajara. There's a usual route I take because I do go, I have been in the last three and a half years when I'm here. Um, I take, do a lot of uh, travel to Guadalajara back, but uh, I did finally, um, a couple months ago, I experienced the ride back. Um, I had to go to an eye search in Guadalajara and uh, I had an emergency, but I I'm okay. I went with Dan and Sylvia. We took a taxi back, but we took the other way, the longer way, because the taxi driver said that the car, uh, the, not the Carchero, but the highway, but the highway going back to Guadalajara, the usual way, um, close to Ajijic, was crowded. So we went through, we took a taxi through a town, like there was a town of Molina. Um, then we finally got to Hakotepec. So I took, I was able to take the experience that other route and uh, how to get back and forth the other way too. And uh, we stopped, I shot a video. Uh, uh, I think Sylvia was taking pictures, Dan or Sylvia. We did a video there, um, to, looking down into the valley from another angle that I don't get to see much, but I love going back there I make friends. Uh, I, I love the Mexican people. Uh, recently went there and delivered gifts to the Mexican children on um, Christmas Eve uh, and uh, the less fortunate kids. Uh, but the, I'll tell you, uh, get out to the Malachans. I've given directions and the videos uh, and I really want to share my experiences. It's not what I know just from reading Wikipedia. It's what my experiences are. So. I get down there, I get boots, feet, I actually call it feet, on my feet, and then on the ground. Boy, you bet, we had to go to back, and especially uh, during the last uh, 15 months. So, so I encourage people, whether you're a tourist, uh, or resident here, if you haven't been to Kotebeck, uh check it out. And, uh, I know this is a lengthy video, but I think it's important in the sense that we don't hear on YouTube channels, um, much about a cult back and really happy uh, to have uploaded many videos, many videos uh, from a cult back uh, uh, since I started this channel and started shooting videos over all over the lakeside area. I just didn't want to leave a cult back standing there. I enjoy going there, and that's why I do the YouTube videos there because I enjoy it and want to share my experience with you. So uh, get out there. If you have any questions about Colts Pack, you see me in town, hey, ask me. I'll even take you out there for a ride, personally. And, uh, and uh, well, we have ice cream, coffee, uh, go shop. We can go shop down there. There's some great stores. I know where parking is available for really, really low cost. You can get in and out. I know where parking is. Um, and I know people. And I know people there, and I'm uh, making friends there. And, uh, it's a great town. So please visit it, but tap on that notification bell. You'll be notified of upcoming videos. Thanks for viewing. Adios, amigos.